Brian here with Prudential Pest Solutions, and I have my cleaning stuff out today, but we're not getting into the cleaning business. No, I wanna talk about spider treatments and spider control solutions. Now, most folks will just reach right for the sprayer and just start spraying away at the webs and the spiders, and yeah, you're gonna kill some spiders, but you're not gonna get to the root of the problem. No, removing all the webbing and the webbing material is absolutely critical to resolving a spider issue. And for that, we do two different methods. One is I have a web duster here and we can put a pole onto it. We can you know, go up to 20 feet with this on the outside of the house, or as I'll show you later in the video, on the inside of a commercial building. And then also we use a battery powered backpack vacuum. Um, this actually has a HEPA filter on it, which is great. Um, we do other kinds of cleanups like for rodents and whatnot, but for spiders, we can actually suck up and physically remove the webbing and the spiders. Now, why is that important? Well, it does two things for us. Number one, it gives us a nice clean surface so that when we do apply a chemical product, the chemical has more areas to treat, the spiders come across the chemical more often, and it's more effective. The second option, or the second reason why we, why we remove the webs is because it just looks cleaner, right? So when we leave a treatment, it shouldn't see all webs everywhere. It should look like something was done. So we remove the webs first, and then we treat, and that's just an effective way to do spider control. So this is a commercial property that we just started taking over from another pest control company. And that other pest control company was using um, just the spray technique, and they weren't really having any results. And we can see here, just as we're going through the manufacturing part, um, just the webs are everywhere. And not only does it look really unsightly to the employees, to investors that are coming to the facility, but we can see that the spider webs themselves are being you know, on, on the on-off switch, on electrical components, so they can impact operations as well. Now, again, this is a commercial facility, but it's the same process for your house. We may not need the 20 foot duster for that, but we can use our vacuums. So the first step we're gonna do is we're gonna go through and I'm gonna remove all the webs. So I just take my web duster here. You can see me gently going across and just removing all the webs so that when the spiders, even if they don't get caught in our webster here, the spiders are gonna, when they go to rebuild, they're gonna come across a treated surface that we've already sprayed and our treatment's gonna be that much more effective. Here we can see the webster, the web duster, I should say, extended all the way out. So with my extension pole, I can reach almost 30 feet up into the air and we're just gonna get this place clean and then get it treated. So again, there was another company that was here for you know every month for who knows how long and they never got the spiders under control. Gee, I wonder why because they never remove the webbing. Most companies will not remove the webbing. We just like to do that because number one, it's more effective, and two, it just looks a lot better after a treatment. It looks like we actually did something besides just spray and leave. So whether it's your house, your business, whatever, removing the spider webs and then doing a treatment is the best way to go. And it also will tell you what's active and what's not, right? Like if, if we knock down all these spider webs and come back in a month and there's more webs built, well, hey, then we know that area is active. So if your current company is just spraying for spiders and you still have spiders, maybe it's time to make a change. And something as simple as us using these tools here to, to effectively clean out the area, provide us a great surface to treat, we're gonna have much better results. So if you live or work in Southeastern Pennsylvania, Berks County, Chester County, Lancaster County, Montgomery County, give Prudential Pest Solutions a call or text us at 484-401-4361 and I'll show you how we do things differently.